Welcome back guys. In the last one we got our train station set up and we have a, a big bouncy thing standing on top of them, which I don't know why, but uh, fair enough. Uh, we also got a bunch of built spaghetti mess set up downstairs where we're not going to watch and we got all of the stuff going up to the different floors in the smelting area. And of course we got um, the iron plate thing set up as well. The iron plate building. Now, oops, we need to be here. Today, we are going to set up uh, steel beams, screws. Uh, so that'll be nine beam factories, five screw constructors and beam constructors. So nine beam constructors, five screw constructors. And as well as uh, two uh, reinforced iron plate uh, assemblers. That is what we're going to get done in this episode, I think. And I've started a little bit, not that much, but a little bit, to get it going. So let's just see where we're going to have it. We're going to have it over here. Oh, and also, uh, update 7 is coming out this week, I think. So we might uh, check that out a bit as well. So it might be a bit of a longer episode. So we're going to do it over here behind the iron plate uh, factory or iron plate uh, facility. Because we need uh, the iron plate to make the... Um, the reinforced iron plate which we're going to be making in assemblers over here uh, so and we're going to be using the bolted iron plate uh, recipe so what i'm thinking is these nine constructors here are going to make uh, the beams then up top we'll have uh, five constructors making screws and what is needed will go over here in two floors with an as assembler on each floor making the um, the reinforced iron plate or the bolted iron plate and it'll kind of be an l-shaped uh, building where we'll have a little plaza out here in front so yeah that is the plan and i think it'll be kind of cool i hope so we don't have much space to expand this way well actually we don't have any uh, because we have this thing standing here which i don't necessarily want inside uh, our building i suppose it could be a centerpiece of some sort having that pillar standing in there but i don't think that's the plan i think this is the plan so uh yeah uh, that is what we're going to be doing uh, in uh, today's episode and uh, and probably checking out uh, update 7. So uh, settle in guys, let's get to it and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we are back at our starter base and our hub because update 7 is out on experimental and we of course want to unlock the new stuff so we have the blueprint designer and the build gun upgrade blueprints so that is obviously something that we're going to unlock because that is just too cool it is just too cool so let's get this all in there there we go Hit the button, and off he goes. Go, 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 pod. You can do it. And there it goes. Nice. All right, so now we have the blueprint designer. We don't have what it takes to build it just now. Oh, we just need some concrete. That's all to build it. But we'll take a look at that uh, in just a little bit. Uh, because uh, let's grab some 
Uh, some coupons as well. How many do we have? 65. Wow. That is a lot of coupons. Nice. I like it. So, we also have a new conveyor ceiling mount, which is fantastic. Let's add that to the cart. Is there anything else we want? Uh, we can't do that yet. We have all the foundations unlocked. Yes, all the walls. Yes, architecture. Well, we can get the stairs and the industrial walkways. Nice. The customizer. Uh, we have everything unlocked. Fix-it specials. Well, I suppose we'll grab the cart and the boombox. Uh, do we need anything over here in organization? Well, let's get those two unlocked as well. And I suppose... Since we added the boombox, we can add all these tapes. Equipment, uh, we already have the coffee cup, I think. Gas filters, novelist pack, no. Uh, we don't want any of that. So, 28 coupons. Buy it all. And we can grab our boombox. Cool. And we still have 43 coupons left. That is insane. That is insane. And I love it. All right, um, so we need to bring a few things back with us. Uh, we'll grab some concrete, I think, just like that. And we need to go and get some nobelisks over there. So I'll do that, and uh, then we'll head back to uh, where we are building our steel smelting facility. So uh, I'll be right back. Right, we are back here at our steel smelting facility. And as you can see, I have been building a bit. So let's just go check that out before we check out uh, update 7. Uh, oh, I left a hole here. Not ideal. But here we have steel coming in. Uh, 495 steel to be exact is coming in here and then here we have iron plates coming in to this new facility that I built here and in here we will be making uh, steel beams screws and um, reinforced iron plates so let's take a look. So we have our outputs. They will be coming down this way. We have our iron coming in here. And our steel is coming up here. Uh, that's steel ingots. Uh, well, a lot of them are coming up there. Uh, and they are coming down this way. And then we have uh, steel ingots somewhere else as well. Uh, I think I might have forgotten to get something going up here. As this is our uh, steel beam production. So, no, this is not our steel beam production. Duh. Uh, down here is our steel beam production. Uh, do I have a door in there somewhere? <laughs> No. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, I guess we'll just uh, make a hole in the wall for now. So you can see. So here we have some steam steel beams coming up. Uh, or steel, uh, steel ingots. That's uh, 15 or so. And then the rest are coming down this way. Uh, coming up in the next one uh, 480 in total 
and they are all going in to make our uh, steel beams. All our steel beams uh, will be coming up there, as you saw on the floor upstairs. And that will be turned into screws. So we have five machines here making screws. Uh, one of them is underclocked to produce a little bit less and the rest are producing uh, 260 a minute. Uh, so they each get their own uh, lift going up. Uh, and here we have our uh, reinforced iron plate guys. We just need two of them making reinforced iron plate and maybe it's just got a little laggy and up here we have a uh, well a mess room really a belt uh, organizer room with a hole in the ceiling but that's okay for now because i think i need to get up there anyway but yeah i haven't put lights or anything in yet but uh, all of this is basically to make screws, uh, a lot of screws, and a few reinforced iron plates. So that's that building basically done. Just need, need to get power over here and set some lights up and stuff. But other than that, the building is complete. Except we need our four outputs here to go somewhere, of course. Which is something that we can actually uh, take a quick look at now, because we got the um, we obviously got the uh, ceiling mounted conveyor lift, and I kind of think that I want to use that for this because it's cool. So we have our four outputs here, and if we take, uh, let's take a conveyor lift mark four, turn it that way, and then we can take our belt, and look at that, it automatically gives us a ceiling mounted lift. If we pull it over to the wall, we get a wall lift. And if we put it down to the floor, a mount. And if we put it down to the floor, it automatically turns into a floor uh, thing, mount. But this is so damn cool. So we can have it run across the ceiling. We can then maybe go under here and uh, under this little bulge, which is where the steel is running. Or we can bring it over and go around it is fantastic i really love that they gave us ceiling mounted conveyor poles that is just amazing absolutely awesome that is something that i have wanted in this game for a long time there's a dude stuck in there he's doing a little dance all right Excuse me. Hmm. Had a little coughing fit there. Alright. Now, for update 7 as well, I just made a little platform here because we, of course, want to check out the blueprint designer. This thing is huge. And cool. Let's just stick it down there. We absolutely need some more floors around it. Man, this thing is so cool. Look at it. Uh, let's see, can I make a uh, lookout tower? Let's see if we can. All right, so this is our blueprint designer. Well, I did not mean to jump off our lookout tower. 
that is our blueprint designer. As you can see, it is a, a four by four. Um, well, four by four foundation slab. So what we could do, for instance, is just make a four by four by foundation here. Like so. So we have our foundation. And then uh, this thing doesn't need power for whatever reason. Uh, it's kind of nice that it doesn't. But now we can uh, say uh, four by four, uh, one meter concrete foundation. And uh, we can just copy that down there. Uh, we can uh, set a directory for it. So, hmm. Let's edit. We will add a category. And this category will be named uh, Foundations. And we can put in the image for it. What is, what is Foundation like? Nothing really. I guess... I don't know. Something like that. Uh, select that. And apply. So now we have a category here. And then we can add a subcategory. Which we can call uh, concrete. Uh, wait, cancel. Concrete. And apply. So now, in our foundations, we have concrete, and we can, of course, uh, add another one, which we call uh, asphalt. And so on and so forth. And then we can add our new blueprint, uh, which we want to edit. Uh, wait, cancel. How do I... No. Uh, there. Alright, so let's select an icon for that. Uh, we want a concrete foundation. If there is one. There should be, right? No. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. One meter concrete foundation. Select that image. Uh, we can also change the color of the black background. I am fine with it being that color. Save the... We'll set the directory for there. That is fine. And then we can save our blueprint. Now, we have our blueprint. And what we can do if we uh, go into build mode, we have a new tab up here called Blueprints. And we have our 4x4 foundation, which we can then uh, stick down. If I could see what I was doing. Kind of need to come up a bit. Uh, maybe we, if, we, if we go up to our uh, lookout tower here. Uh, we can climb up here. Ah, don't fall down. That doesn't help. Uh, we can even put the blueprints on our hotbar if you want. Uh, I don't want to... Why doesn't it snap? It's not snapping. That's a little annoying. Well... Why isn't it coming up? Well, 
We can see it down here. I'm not going to put it down there, though. Why won't it go on the side? That is very frustrating. Okay. Uh, what if we deleted this and then, for instance, did a four meter foundation here? Would that help in any way, shape, or form? Well, if I can get it in there. God damn it. It won't cooperate right now. Alright. Well, we got that in. So let's try our blueprint now. And see if it will cooperate with this. No, it will not. Okay. So that is something that needs to be figured out. Well, they did say it might be a little bit buggy in the beginning, but... And that's, of course, fine. It is experimental, so... You would expect it to be. But we can set up all kinds of blueprints here and... For instance, we need to, if we if we go in here, uh, the next thing that we're going to be setting up, I think, is concrete. Uh, so we need to set up 26.7 machines, so 27 machines making concrete. And instead of setting them all up by hand, we can make, for instance, a 2x4 manifold setup in this, save it, and program the machines as well. And, and we can just put that down where we want. And I think we're going to be putting our concrete production over here. In a bit of a tower kind of building because there isn't that much space. But that's my plan for now, at least, that we're going to have it over here. And that's going to be cool. So that is what we're going to do next time, and we will be using blueprints to do it. So I am very much looking forward to getting this done and playing with this machine. We'll set up the blueprint in the next one as well. As we are out of time for today so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time